Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we're going to be discussing the Terry Richardson fashion sexual abuse scandal that has gone on. I was away in Amsterdam when this kind of like happened, not that it happened, but like when the story broke and so I didn't really get a chance to talk on it, but I wanted to discuss it because I think it's a really important issue that we like should be fucking talking about in terms of ethical life and humanity. So. If you guys don't know who Terry Richardson is, Terry Richardson is a really famous fashion photographer. He shoots for like all the Vogue's and the Conan Nast magazines and all the independent magazines. Like he shoots for everyone. He shoots campaigns, blah, 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 blah. He shot Lady Gaga and Miley Cyrus. He shot Miley Cyrus' Wrecking Ball video. I didn't even know that. He shot Beyonce and Nicki Minaj and Kim Kardashian. Like he shot all these people. But at the same time, he's also a sexual abuser. I know. Shocking. I mean, those glasses, I would never, ever think that he was a pedophile. So, Terry Richardson has been shooting for forever, and in 2010, when like fashion and tech kind of got into it, you know, the cut and fashionista and shit like that were happening, these models kind of like came out and they were like, yo, Terry Richardson's kind of a creep. And they detailed these really long stories about how creepy Terry Richardson was. Which, I mean, let's be real, we have no reason to not believe them. Um, and everybody was kind of just like, me as well. Um, and so they just, you know, kind of died down and every once in a while you hear, oh, Terry Richardson's a pervert. And then you're like, oh, I already knew that. So then this whole Harvey Weinstein thing happened. If you don't know who Harvey Weinstein is, he is a film producer and he's like kind of been a part of like the September issue and like, the first Monday of May, like he's buddy buddy with Anna Wintour. He's also been abusing women, um, most notably for the fashion industry, I would say Cara Delevingne. Um, and you know, a ton of actresses have come out and been like, yo, he's a fucking creep. And he did this shit to me when I was like 14. So everybody was like, fucking Harvey Weinstein's an asshole. We hate him and he's a sexual abuser. I was in that crowd. I was like, fuck him. So at the same time, there's this Instagram account that's gotten really big recently called Diet Prada. And they came out and they were like, hey, just so you guys like know, Harvey Weinstein's getting crucified over here but Terry Richardson's shooting a Valentino campaign over here and we're not doing anything about it, why? And so everybody was like, oh shit. And I think Adam Wintour by that time had kind of come out and been like, I think that Harvey Weinstein is horrible and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, everybody was like, mm, can't we can't fuck with this shit. Like it's not good for us. What happened was, Everybody lost their shit about this Valentino campaign. They're like, what the fuck? Why is Terry Richardson fucking shooting shit? And on the low low, Terry Richardson has been shooting shit for forever. It's just that he like didn't put his name on a lot of stuff because like bad PR, obviously. So when this campaign came out, everybody was like, Valentino, what the fuck? And then Valentino was all like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about this situation. So we're just gonna take Terry Richardson's name off the shoot. Bullshit, Melatino, because guess what? Bitches be knowing that you're low key ethical trash, okay? So then what happened was all these brands started fucking dropping Terry Richardson. Conan Ass was in there like, bam! Fuck Terry Richardson. Any shoots that are happening that are gonna be published, get rid of them. And any shoots that we're thinking about hiring Terry Richardson, don't even think about it anymore. And so, Conan and Ass decided that they were gonna save their ass in this situation. Good call, good call. And then, Prabhu Gurung came out and he was all like, I never thought I was gonna hire Terry Richardson, but I be you knowing all these fashion bitches knew this shit was happening and they still, you know, supported it. And I was like, yes, Prabhu Gurung, call out them bitches. So, yeah, a lot of stuff happened with this Terry Richardson thing and now he's like kind of going down the drain and he's still like, I didn't do it. And it's like, oh my God, girl, you wear those glasses. You obviously fucking did it. And another thing, I know I'm like making real light of this situation in the terms of explaining it. 
But at the same time, like, I don't fucking condone any of this shit that he's fucking doing. It's fucking disgusting and vile, and I feel terrible for all of the girls and women that have been sexually abused by Terry Richardson. I know that a lot of them don't get the chance to say things because they are not in a position of power. It could ruin their careers, like, and that's where the fashion industry gets really fucked up. Like, that shit really can, like, ruin careers, and just by calling out something that's happening to you, like, that shit's happening to you. It's not fake. You're not making it up. And it's just like, you have fucking Dior sending we should all be feminist t-shirts on the runway, but you're fucking supporting fucking some sexual abuser touching girls. Like, it's it's so weird and it's fucked up and I don't appreciate it, I don't condone it, I just think it's like, insane and the only way for me to deal with it is just being like, like what? Like, it, it's just, it's... It's not comical, but at the same time, it's comical of how stupid and how just, like, ignorant people are to the fact of, like, if somebody's getting sexual abuse claims, why would you just not fire them? Like, wh like, what ties do you have to this person that is so important to you that you have to keep, you know, hiring them? It's just, like, it's fucking gross. So... Please let me know what you guys think about this whole Terry Richardson thing in the comments below. Um, also, I'm going to leave in the description box below as well some tips and helpful things for any sexual abuse um, victims. And if you guys ever have anything going on, you know, hit me up on them DMs on Instagram. You know I'm there and I can do my best with those kinds of things. Um, also, you know, yeah, just... Just, this is just like a moment where the fashion industry takes a fat L and it's just so awkward and sad. And I just, I don't want this industry to be like this because it should not be like this at all. It should not be like this at fucking all. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, T-T-Y-L.